Hello, good morning. Welcome back, dear student. I'm here with you, Talbi Singh Himta, with the first lesson of your book, Hornbill. You must have heard about the word Hornbill, basically found in the South African continent, and not only there, but also various uh, the country. You could found this in uh, in India. There are five to six species found in uh, especially South India. So in this uh, book. I am taking the first lesson, and the name of that lesson is the portrait of a lady, which is written by Kushwan Singh. And you must have, and you have heard much about uh, Kushwan Singh, and uh, his well-known book, The Train to Pakistan, is really in a tremendous book. And not only that, but so he has authored many books, and in this book and in this lesson, uh, he has uh, represented his. relationship with grandmother it's a kind of autobiography of kushwan singh in which he said that how my grandmother was so old and she was so old that none other can be because i have been looking her since 20 year as it is and there is no difference even a single minute and sometimes people said she was so beautiful she was she was uh, you know pretty and young you know even a husband and when i heard that you know thinking so become mind boggling you know it it is so disliking to think that that she may be and she could be uh, uh, beautiful she could be uh, pretty and young uh, even a husband as far as concern about the husband he was a man of uh, you know that look which appeared like uh, he could be only 100 year of uh, old and more than that and he could have only grandchildren and nothing else the portrait that was hung there in the uh, uh, the drawing room just above the metal piece he had uh, the wool a, a loose fitted cloth and a turban over his head so now come back to the grandmother the grandmother was really very as per uh, authors representations here and uh, as he said that my grandmother was very loving very caring very tender and you know very religious lady and very strong in character and that we will try to find out in you know, how strong she is in her character my grandmother grandmother was very short very fat and actually it was slightly bent down because she had a hunch over her head and her face is full of wrinkle and which runs everywhere to everywhere everywhere and my grandmother always all in the house and hobble how in the house here means that she always walk in the house with the difficulty as she ha- she hurts her uh, legs and uh, the foods and feet she always so the found busy in uh, telling her rosary just uh, uh, let me explain here she or whenever she always hobble and always uh, hobble in the and walk in the house she found that one hand always at her own back to balance that stoop and balance that hunch and the second one found busy in telling the and counting the rosary of that uh, beads of that rosary and inaudibly she is continuously doing prayer Yes, yeah, she is beautiful. Of course, she is beautiful, and she was comparing like the winter landscape in winter uh, in mountains and uh, an expense of pure white is white serenity, breathing peace and contentment. It seemed when we saw that she was a kind of lady, and whoever came in her contact would feel so nice with her. She was so good in conduct. now come to the first stage of their relationship here author and his grandmother used to live in the village there why they were here because author's parents has went to and uh, gone to city to search of job and uh, uh, maybe or settling there in they were back in the village here grandmother used to wake him up and uh, uh, she uh, prepared uh, Uh, the breakfast for him she get him ready for the school and uh, she wash his uh, the slate and uh, already and uh, the chalk bit the yellow yellow chalk uh, pasted uh, already over that 
and after finishing uh, finishing everything they accompany to the school because the school and temple were attached with each other one more thing that uh, left for your uh, discussion for you that is when she took bath she willingly the try to sing a song although she sang in a, in a very monotonous you know monotonous kind of ek tarah ki awaaz thi bahut hi the bezure sawar mein gaati thi because she hoped that author will and uh, my grandson will learn it by heart but author was least concerned to learn by heart although he listened and he heard because he loved to hear her voice so after taking the breakfast and after or binding that pen and ink pot together and handed to the authors they they accompany to the school with some uh, stale chapatis that she must had made previously for the village dogs as i said that where the temple and school were uh, attached to each other when author sing her uh, sing his prayer and uh, learn alphabets in the school at the si- same time the simultaneously the grandmother here used to uh, read the scripture when both finished they returned to home and this time the village dog followed them till home in a growling and fighting for these uh, chapatis that they threw to them now here little bit of change you will see here start the second chapter and the second stage of their relationship when Authors, father and mothers comfortably settle in the city. They sent for them, and this was the turning point in their relationship. How it was the turning point? Because uh, although they share the common room, and for some time she used to accompany to the school here, uh, because author had uh, a motor bus to the school and uh, the different kind of syllabus and education they he received here and he was teaching here. The so. You know, for some time, or everything was common, but after some time, you know, uh, when uh, grandmother used to ask him that uh, what kind of education and what you you know you learn in the school, so he said some uh, English word used to, you know, some English words to her, and uh, he talk of uh, the law of science, Archimedes' law, gravities, and all these things, and she got so much frustrated about that. because she was not happy with that uh, with the uh, this education so he, she thought that this is not good because there is no lesson on god and scriptures so it is useless okay so one more thing that i would like to mention here as when they moved to the city in, in the first time uh, and uh, the firstly we, uh, we discuss and we uh, i told you that uh, they share the common room and uh, but one thing that you know deprived her of in the city that was there was no dog she no no longer uh, come to school with him because author here used to go in the school uh, in a motor bus and uh, because dog was not there in the uh, the street and in the city so she used to fed feeding sparrow in the courtyard of the city schools here rolled by and then comes the time when they met uh, the less and they saw less each other they rarely talk yeah and uh, this was the time when she no longer help him in in the lessons why because he no longer take the education of that sort he used to get in the village there uh, he received the kind of education about uh, the sign uh, the law of gravity archimedes rules some uh, english uh, word that um, he uh, told her that this kind of education i am receiving there so you know see she was dissatisfied with that and after some days when she he said author said that i have edu- uh, i have a lesson on music also there in the school so that time you know she was so much upset she rarely talked after that and uh, you know uh, she considered it lute lute it is associated with and it has the monopoly of a harlot prostitute and bagus yeah, the gentle folk like you you know do not deserve for this uh, you know kind of things so you should be stay away this thing although she didn't said anything about the 
lesson on music but her disapproval and her silence actually her silence has proved that she had totally disapproved that she was not satisfied and then what happened after that there come one more change in the relationship of her grandmothers and uh, her here authors when he moved to the university for further studies and he had his own room the common relationship between them snapped they no longer share their room they no longer help in his lesson they no longer uh, you know uh, they might be with each other as before and now very rarely they talk with each other and she rarely you know talk with any member of the house because from sunrise to sunset the she used to spin the you know she spin the that uh, the spinning wheel especially uh, sunrise to sunset she spin the wheels and only at the half time you know sorry uh, in the afternoon half hour half hour of that day when she fed the sparrows you know that uh, thousand of only in the afternoon you know she relaxed at that time that was the time when she relaxed for some time in you know, for half hours and in that uh, half hours thousand of sparrow come come to her and some perch over her legs and some uh, some uh, words and uh, sparrows perch over her shoulder and some over her head but she never shoot them away because uh, you know uh, that was the only half uh, half hour of the day which she consider the happiest moment of the day and when they have been there you know they, these are thousand of sparrow that sparrows creating a veritable bedlam of chirping you know so that was the enjoying moment for her you know such a noise although you know, like a bedlam like you know pagal gaane ki bhanti ek tarah ek mahol taiyar karte the but she you know she enjoyed it so much because that was only half hour of the day when she talked with someone kisi ke sath jab wo baat karti thi and uh, when she uh, smile and some she talk that was the only time and you know and after what when i decided to when i decided to go abroad uh, you know for further study that i am uh, going to uh, going to abroad for further study for 5 years and at that time i was thinking that uh, and nothing can be said about her uh, age so she may be upset and uh, she may got die until i return ki jab tak main wapas aaun shayad shayad na bhi rahe is duniya mein but uh, you know that things you cannot think of uh, author's grandmother she show no emotions you know no sensations you know kind of uh, that the, my grandson is going and so i should be emotional and all and she may cry and all no nothing at all she accompanied with author to the railway stations at that time she had no time to talk at time also she was not talking with him she was uh, you know inaudibly uh, doing her prayer and she was continuously counting the the bead of the rosary and very silently she kissed on my forehead and that was it imprint of her the kiss i cherished as that it may be our last physical contact between them between grandmother and grandson But after five years, when I returned, grandmother, the grandmother come to there at the railway stations to receive me. She was not. She was lot. Lo, I would say least bit out. She was as that as were five years before. there were no you know the kind of difference even a single minute difference cannot be noticed that she may be kisi zyada wo budi ho gayi ho and she was as it is as was five years before and she was least bit down she was least emotional at that time also at that time also she had no time to talk to me and you know no sign of emotions she only hug me and then we walk to the home kind of lady she was she was really strong in character that she had shown nothing like thing that uh, she show the emotions at home as you as you and one things that uh, i didn't tell you when he had uh, he had own room he take uh, author take own room 
to stay and common relationship between them snap snap she didn't tell anything and actually uh, she accepted her exclusion with resignations without making complaint that yes i am not satisfied i'm you know i'm 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 alone i'm not happy actually very silently she accepted that uh, isolation and made no complaint in this regard so really she was a lady of great character and strong character that that, that shows she never tried to show her emotions of uh, you know uh, not try to show her love not try to show her anger and uh, isolation and all these things so really she was a strong in character and uh, religious all, although she was wo to thi you because uh, that thing you have um, imagine sorry that thing you have uh, noticed from the beginning from the beginning you will uh, see how she is busy in her uh, uh, you know uh, counting the rosary and uh, the bead of that rosary and continuously she, her lips are moving as uh, lips are moving in inaudible prayers and now what happened today change came after you know when in the evening that change came in her she collected the women from vicinity from the neighborhood and arrange old drum that worn out conditions drum dilapidated you know jarjar sthiti wala ek purana sa and uh, you know dilapidated dhila dhala jarjar sa that dhol you know uh, she arranged from somewhere and start singing the the song of their uh, warriors arrival at home although we insisted we, we, we protested it but she was continuously for the several hours she continuously was beating that uh, drum so we try to you know pursue them not to take uh, over strain but she ignored our protests for this also she was uh, so happy that was a kind of kind of happiness the, uh, the she shown Uh, because uh, the day i returned from america from uh, abroad her happiest moment was with the sparrow no doubt that day a little bit of different that was uh, that day the little more you know usually for the half hour she used to feed the sparrow but this day she fed the sparrow bit more time for some more time with the fribless review fribless review here means with the you know the kind of uh, you know scolding and chiding them with the with the merrily you see bada maza kiya ke sam se unko phatkarti hai thank you what is this what are you doing you go there and you were perching here and chalo wahan baith jao and the like fribellessly she talked with them and the change that came over in her at the night when she arranged her old drum and she beat it for the several times and uh, that was the first time in my life that i ever saw her without you know doing prayers and without uh, you know counting the beads of that rosary and that night she fell ill and doctor said all this that was uh, the mild fever the doctor said it's a mild fever and it will go but grandmother think differently she said that no it's not a mild fever my end is near so don't waste my time i want to do my prayers i want to count my rosaries so before they doubt that anything can be happen you know isse pehle ki kuch ho unko doubt hota ki aisa kuch ho bhi sakta hai because they uh, you know they were going uh, with the instructions of doctor that it is a mild fever it will go but nothing happened like that before they doubt isse pehle you know shak hota wo dadi you know she got died wo mar jati and as a customary you know the because of the custom or we or the bring her uh, and actually lift her from her bed and keep at the and put that uh, put that body uh, on the ground this is as our custom according to the custom and customary we uh, lift her off from her bed and put on the uh, ground 
and cover with shroud and all. And after some time, and after some time, uh, the we did the you know mourning, and then we go for the uh, cremations, arrangement of the cremations, and uh, afterward, you know everything that is possible for uh, in that time. At this time, me jo kuch bhi karna hota hai, and they uh, you know waha they go and make the arrangement, wo arrangement karte hai. And uh, finally, it was the time to lifting of the body from there. Or as they were lifting of the body, the thousands of you know thousands of uh, sparrow come to show their sorrow to their beloved one. That that beloved one who was there was a grandmother, and she who with the fed fed the and feed them for a long time. And she she was and all these sparrows were feeling so sorry. Although author and his grandmother was also were uh, feeling sorry for the children. Uh, these uh, uh, sparrows because of how how silently they were there that they they were making no chirping you know no noise and no commotions and kind of tumultuous you see they were silent you know all around their veranda in front of the room and uh, at the courtyard a thousand of sparrow and in that uh, at the time of sunset uh, her room you know room veranda and everything was light up with the golden uh, you know brightness so uh, as the author and his grandmother was very feeling so sorry for the sparrow uh, author's mother the brought some crumbs you know bread and uh, you know break into the into the little pieces and throw to, uh, throw to those uh, and these sparrows but the way uh, actually she did the way grandmother used to but these sparrow paid no attention to this uh, a little crumb of the bread a little pieces of the bread as they lifted up the corpse of grandmother there the silently they also flew from there and the very next day the sweeper swept that crumbs swept uh, that uh, you know uh, small pieces of the bread into the dustbin and that was here you know this was your story uh, the, you have seen there three phases of their relationship the what was in, a, in the village in the city and in when he moved to the university and after but the one more phase that uh, what happened when uh, uh, he went to abroad and after five years he returned and did their feeling for e change for each other, each other actually they hardly talk to uh, with each other uh, especially when he moved to the university because then they have and he has his own room in the common relationship almost snap between them the still there was uh, nothing like that thing that if they are not talking if they are uh, rarely meeting with each other that uh, the feeling for each other had changed no not at all their feel feeling for each other was as as was in the village as a pehle hua karti thi same she was a religious lady that uh, we noticed from the beginning to end how she, she did not want to waste uh, her time in talking especially at that time also when uh, she thought that my end is near okay and then uh, how strong she is in her character of course she is so strong in character because she show that character she was least bit out of any things and um, she never show her isolation she never show her uh, you know kind of uh, the frustrations dissatisfaction happiness at all okay that's it that was something about uh, uh, this chapter hope you will uh, get best out of best out of it thank you